rewriting the short story, or how many naps did it take? Hello and welcome back to my writing journey. I'm Ellen Byram, author of Crook Tales for Two, my art deco mystery, and the crime of fashion mysteries featuring Lacey Smithsonian. My topic this week is rewriting the short story and counting how many naps it took. Actually, quite a few. I am not the kind of person who can simply power through and write while my brain has gone to sleep. It's much more effective to actually go to sleep first and give my brain a rest so it can work on a problem without me getting in its way. If you don't need to nap, good for you. But I would hate not to be able to indulge in naps, which I think are God's reward for living. You wake up, feel refreshed, and a task that hitherto felt impossible now, if not pleasant, is doable. It's very odd for me, but I recently wrote a short story to submit to an anthology. I usually write novels or plays. Because a short story is minimal, it would be easy to fall into the trap of thinking that once you've written the draft, you don't need to rewrite. It's done. It seems so easy. That would be a mistake. I completed my recent short story in about five or six weeks, but the setup, the characters, and the plot all took time. After that, I had about five days left for rewrites after I gave it to my editor, Bob Williams, who also happens to be my husband. He used to work as an editor for the circus, so we are right at home with the crazy atmosphere of writing day and night, sometimes all night. My rewrites took about five days and five naps, including the final day when I was through with rewrites, but I wanted to tweak the opening in the few hours I had left before the drop dead deadline. My original opening was okay, but I knew it could be better. I could feel it in my bones. Now, our minds are a big bowl of thoughts, inspirations, quotes, mythology you learned in high school, words overheard, characters spotted in an instant, and a lot of other stuff. When we write stories, or perhaps it's just me, we just take a dip into all those things, and from that concoction of crazy, we somehow craft a story. For my lead in my recent short story, my opening lines, I wanted to include a slight reference to mythology that perhaps no one will get but it would set the story up and draw a line through it so that the ending is deserved. It was only a couple of lines in my story, but they seemed to be missing. The more I worried, the sleepier I became. I tried to fight it, but sleep was imminent. I crashed. Woke up 40 minutes later and had the lines I wanted. And here's the thing. Those words were not spectacular or out of the ordinary. They simply suited the story to the point that I could let it go. Now, I have a few thoughts about rewriting a short story. First, you think because it's a short form of writing, it should be a breeze. Maybe it should, but it always takes longer than you think it should. Two, it is essential to improving the story. Look at it this way. You've already spent time on producing it. You might as well complete the process as in writing a longer piece, I believe you should read it aloud. Vocalizing your story forces you to slow down and read each word. While you're doing that, you notice things like unnecessary commas and missing quotation marks, as well as typos, incomplete sentences, and maddening redundancies that you thought you'd already cut. Four, like a magic trick, when you rewrite, you find connections you never expected. And when you're finished with the two or three or four or five rewrites, you cannot imagine your story without them. It is now richer and deeper. Finally, number five, life often interferes like death and taxes. And taxes are due right around the corner and I have to finish mine. Thankfully, my short story is already finished. Uncle Sam is another story. That's all I have for now, but if you like this video, please give it a like. If you see it on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, and that way you'll find out if I finished my taxes, and we can continue to explore our writing process journey. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Happy April!
and I'll see you next time. Bye!